Okay, so this is the demon dice. Um, as you can see, you can see the diagram here, okay? Now, it does, it looks quite complicated, okay? But um, just to reassure you, it is a very, very simple game, okay? So what I'll do is, um, the first step, I'm gonna talk you through the equipment, okay? Right, okay, so you can see this little blue thing here, okay? Um, with a black border, okay? That is a pot of coins or points. So what I used to use for points, I used to use little copper coins. Now you can use matchsticks, marbles, you can use lollipop sticks. Just make sure you've got at least, I would say about 150, okay? And that will just give you more than enough. That will mean that, um, you know, there should still be some left over at the end of the game, okay? Because the last thing you want is uh, people using up all the points. Now these two little red bits here, these are containers, so team 1 gets its own empty container and team 2 gets its own empty container, okay, and all the containers are for uh, is collecting points. You've got a dice area for team 1, which I'll explain later, you have a dice area for team 2. Okay, we've got a, um, we've got a black marker here and that's uh, for beginners to complete shuttle sprints, okay, and I'll, obviously I'll explain that in a second. And then for the intermediate to advance, you've got a 20 meter shuttle sprint, okay? Now there's another black die, um, obviously as you can see, both teams have got a, uh, a beginner's black marker. And then obviously, you know, that's the 10 meter shuttle sprint, so this one and this one here. And then you've got for the intermediate to advance, the 20 meter shuttle sprint. Uh, you see the red cones over on the right here, okay? So one to six, all you need to do is you need to give each marker its own exercise and its own set of repetitions. So for beginners you might give, I would give, I usually give 10 repetitions for beginners and for the intermediate to advance, they usually get 15, okay? And over on the very right hand side, you can see uh, there's a little area here called the burpee prison, which is pretty cool and obviously I'll explain that in a second. Now before the game begins, it's important to know that each individual, okay, so each player from each team, they're working individually, okay? So everyone's working individually as part of a team, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain how it works with one person, okay? And then once I've explained how it works with one person, that's what everybody will be doing throughout the entire game, okay? So let's just take one player from team one, okay? So when the whole game starts, and remember everybody starts at the same time, we'll have a player here from team one. All he's gonna do is roll the dice, okay? So each team, you wanna give each team maybe two to three dice, and obviously they can take turns and they can rotate through rolling the dice, because remember, each person's working individually, okay? So we'll just randomly take a player from team one to start, okay? So this player rolls the dice, let's say the dice lands on number five, okay? So all that player has to do is complete five shuttle sprints, okay? If that player just happens to be a beginner, they'll complete five shuttle sprints of the 10 meters, okay? And if that player is intermediate to advance, they'll complete 20, they'll complete five shuttle sprints, but obviously that'll be a 20 meter shuttle sprint. There and back, equals one shuttle sprint. Okay, so that's step number one, okay? Step number two, after the player has completed the five shuttle sprints, they're gonna sprint over to marker number five. So marker number five, it might be burpees. So the player simply completes a set of burpees, okay? So if the player's beginner, they complete 10. If the player's intermediate, then they complete 15. Okay, so what happens next is the player runs over to the pot of um, points. Okay, so this little blue bit here where all the points are held. The player takes one point and puts it into the team tub. Okay, once the player's done that, he simply repeats the process all over again. So roll the dice, complete the shuttle sprints, run over to the markers here and complete the number that the player rolled, come back, place a point into the team pot. Now, that's pretty simple, isn't it? Now, when the, when the actual challenge starts, every single person individually will be doing that. So everyone's gonna roll the dice, complete the amount of shuttle sprints that's on the dice, 
then run over to the markers, complete the marker that relates to the dice, okay? Come back, grab a point, and put the point in the team pot, okay? Now, at the end of the game, it's going to be up to the team captain to collect all the points, and the team with the most combined points, okay, wins the game, okay? It's that simple. Now, I usually play this for around... It all depends, I mean... I would I would play this out for 10 to 12 minutes okay I think 10 to 12 minutes is a I think it's a good time to you know get everybody warmed up I mean you don't have to use it as a warm-up it can be a main component it can be a little game it can be a challenge to to finish the workout okay now before I finish I just want to quickly explain the burpee prison okay now a piece of equipment that I completely forgot to mention is a deck of cards, right? Now, what you want to do is you want to shuffle. Make sure you shuffle the deck of cards really, really well, okay? Now, during the game, what you're going to do completely by random is you are going to call people over, okay? So, you might be, you're going to be stood around correcting people's exercises, making sure people are doing things okay. But during the, during the challenge, you can call out to any player. So let's say a player from Team 1 is called John. You can shout, John, come over here. Okay, John sprints over to you. You're going to get John to pick a card. Okay, if that card is a red card, then John runs back and he can carry on with what he's doing. Okay, if that card happens to be a black card, then John automatically, okay, he has to sprint over to the burpee prison and depending on the fitness level of John, you're going to give him an allocated amount of burpees, okay? So you might say, okay, John, unfortunately, mate, you guessed wrong, okay? You got a black card. John might be really fit, so you might say, okay, John, I want you to sprint over to the burpee prison, and I want you to complete 20 burpees. And then all John's going to do is complete the 20 burpees and run back. Now, this is quite exciting because during the whole game, you can call out people at complete random. And they've got to stop what they're doing, run over to you, pick a card. If it lands on red, they're safe and they can continue with what they were doing. If it lands on black, then they get relegated to the burpee prison where you will allocate them a set number of uh, repetitions. Okay, so it's really as simple as that. Um, I hope you enjoy this workout with your group. I mean, I used to play it on a regular basis and one of the reasons they never really got bored of this is because it's sort of like a template in that you have one to six exercises. So um, once you've played it once, okay, the next time you play it, all you need to do is change out the exercises. So you might have all body weight exercises one session. The next session you might have all equipment based exercises, okay? Okay, so uh, I, think I've, I think I've covered everything. So uh, this is an outdoor workout, by the way. But I think actually, if you've got a, if you've got quite a good space, if you if you're using a big gym hall, um, and you've got a big indoor space, then I don't see why this wouldn't work there too. Okay. So this is Leon from Unique Boot Camp Workouts. I really hope you've enjoyed this workout. If you think I've left anything out, or you uh, you've got any questions, then uh, I'm going to try and get a chat box in the. Uh, if you look below, hopefully this sh I should have put a chat box in there now. And you can ask me a question and you can, um, and I'll do my best to answer it, okay? So, uh, work out then, head over to www.uniquebootcampworkouts.com and there you'll be able to download your free version of what's called UBW Lite, okay? And what that simply is, in a nutshell, you'll get about, I think you'll get about, I can't even remember, I think there's about nine workouts like this, there might even be 12, and you can mix and match them to create your own workouts, okay? So that's it from me. Uh, like I say, slip a comment in the uh, bottom of the email, uh, so the bottom of the video. If you're unable to do that for any reason, then uh, you can contact me at uniquebootcampworkouts at gmail.com and I'll, I'll get back to you. Okay, so that's it from me and um, I'll catch you later, okay?